Sabah al khair. In this video, we're going to talk about how to connect main and dependent verbs in formal Arabic using the particle an. An serves a function very similar to the English word to in sentences like I want to study literature or she likes to play chess to separate the main verb from the dependent verb. And we often see the particle n after certain specific words in formal Arabic. Some of them are verbs like yurid, the formal Arabic verb for to want, or yastatir, to be able to, or yuhib, to like to do something. So you'll often see n after those verbs. And bear in mind that n really isn't used very much in colloquial speech. There are different ways to connect dependent verbs in Egyptian and Levantine, and we have a separate video on how to construct those sentences in spoken registers. n is pretty unique to an Arabi al to MSA, formal Arabic. So when we're forming a sentence using n, the verb that follows the particle needs to be conjugated for its subject in mudara mansub. Again, we have this chart with the formal Arabic, Arabic verb yaf'al conjugated uh, in the three sort of varieties of mudara that we encounter. Al mansub is actually referred to in some textbooks describing Arabic as the subjunctive uh, version of a verb because it is often used in structures like this that express possibility or actions that haven't yet occurred, things like that. Once again, yaf'al, we can apply this template of mansub and the endings of al mudara al mansub to any other verb that we like. So let's take a look at some examples. If we want to say, for example, they want to eat at the restaurant, we could render that yuridun. N yet kulu feel matam. So after N, we need to use our mansub form of that conjugated verb. Another example we can read in Arabic. We could say nastatia and nakra bin Arabia. And after N nakra. Ah, we're going to need that fatha if we're fully vocalizing our text to indicate that we're using al mudara al mansub. Nastatir, if we wanted to fully vocalize it, since there haven't, since no conditions have arisen in our sentence yet that require changing the uh, the mood of the verb in any way, we would go ahead and use our default form al mudara al marfua. So, for the sake of being complete, we could put a dhamma above it. When yuriduna, we could add our fatha there, right? And we have our whole marfua form with the nun. One more example, we could say, he refused to go to school. Rafada. He refused. And yadhab. Or an yadhaba. Here we're talking about an action that took place in the past, and we see that because of our conjugated past tense verb, but after n we always need a verb conjugated in al mudara al mansub, in that sort of present tense form. It's sort of equivalent, again, if we, if, if we say in English, he refused to go to school, right? The to go is kind of a fixed form. And literally, what we are saying here is he refused to, he goes to the school. 
we need to conjugate it in the present tense. You'll also notice that we can express these same ideas a lot of the time with a mastar, that verbal noun form. We have a couple videos on the mastar. If we wanted, we could instead of using n and a conjugated verb in mudara amin sub, we could render it as a mustar form. We could say Rafada al-Zahab ilal madrasa. Literally, he refused the going to school, right? But if we want to use n, and a conjugated verb needs to be mansub, and that is how we connect main and dependent verbs in formal Arabic.